Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call out you, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakah Kadash. Devil, honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us the truth. Shalom and salutations to the whole from the neck. I came out there. All right, pushing the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth for sincerity and truth wherever you may be. All right, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scriptures teach us to do. All right. And the very, also, shalom to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. On the brother Yarmire from the Great Millstone Chicago camp, basically coming back to you with another lesson. His lesson is concerning imagery from a movie. All right, like a very iconic movie, especially in this so-called black culture. This is one of the movies that uh, that black exploitation era that actually started this um, madness that got you Negroes out here acting crazy. You know, it's one of my favorite movies though. Uh, it was the Mac. With the character Goldie, with this nigga Max Julian, all right, and in the movie, his character was um, and in the movie, his character, you know, Max Julian was a uh, Goldie the Mac. He was a pimp, you know, and you know we don't indulge in um whoremongering, and you know really. Putting bitches down on the blade and having them sell their body or whatnot, but it was powerful imagery in that movie. And it was a scene where a so called Negro, mind you, this is in the 70s, this is about 73, 74. All right, it was a so called Negro. He walked in the police precinct and they asked him what was his name. And of course, he said, J.E.S.U.S. Christ. We know the true name of the Lord is Jehovah Shah, you know. Now, but that's what he said his name was. And he was a dark-skinned Negro, you know. Dark-skinned like me, very dark, you know. And, um, yeah, they started at the feet, all right. And from the feet up, they got the, um, he had a garment down to his foot. As it says in Revelation, the first chapter in the 14th verse, all right. And he said his name was J.S.U.S., and he identified as the man, you know, who we read about in the scriptures. He said, what's his occupation? He said, carpenter, you know, paraphrasing the scriptures. You know, when the people got familiar with the, the Lord, they said, who is this? Isn't this Joseph? Isn't this the carpenter's son? You know, and the Lord did have a physical mother and father. He said he took on him the seed of Abraham. All right. That's just plain. All right. It goes into his genealogy, you know, all through the scriptures. So that version, verse, all right, that, that that great deception that Esau, you know, put out there, that shit is white. But nevertheless, it was a so-called black man, a Negro, an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, all right, in that movie, man. And that's a scene that was a very powerful scene at that time. And during that time, the late 60s to the early 70s, with the time when Jake was waking back up, via our forefather, Abba Bibbins, all right, you know, and the elders, trailblazers, you know, that started this path. You know, the scriptures let you know in Revelations, it said after that three and a half days, all right, their dead bodies, it, it goes into the dead bodies, all right, and that day goes, and those days go into, you know, us going to slavery until the time that we woke back up, you know, when the truth was taken from us. All right, roughly 350 um, years to my knowledge. Do you know? It was that time period, basically. And, uh, but yeah, during the late 60s, and early 70s, back to what I was saying, that's when a lot of Jake woke up. But it was spiritual that during that time period, in a movie full of niggerdom, it ain't a movie about shit but being fly and pimping and all that, you know. They threw that right in there, right during that time period where the breath of life entered into us again, all right. And now it's on the mass scale, you know, via the tutelage, the spirit of power, how about Shem Yahushan, the teachers of the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Now, on a small note, 
another great, powerful image in that movie was him working at the White Castle. And I don't mean him flipping burgers or no shit like that. I mean he was a black Jake, a so-called black man, dealing with a so-called white woman. He had the white woman in that movie. And it was a powerful scene in that movie, even though he was pimping the hoes and shit. It was a powerful scene in that movie where he went, he went to the restaurant. It was a heathen restaurant too, it was a Moabite restaurant. And he had the, the, the Negro woman sit in the front with her face turned. And he sat at the top, you know, at the good expensive part of the restaurant with the white woman. And he had the heathen serving him, you know. That was a very spiritual, man. Then he went outside to talk shit. You know, the police dragged him outside to talk shit. He said, yeah, you like me sitting with that pretty white woman, don't you? I know you wish you had the bitch. You know? That was a good part in that movie. You know? But nevertheless, he, um, yeah, he exuded power in that movie. You seen Jake with an inkling of power in that movie. And that's why... That was a very powerful movie, you know. Now, the dude was a nigga, of course. Hey, but the scriptures say all things are double, one against another. You really got to filter a lot of things through the scriptures and through the spirit. And that was a very, very powerful imagery in that movie. You know, the Mac. Or Max Julian, man. Goldie Mac. You know. So, um, yeah, man. And, and, hey, these stars are falling, man. Destruction is coming. Death is coming. These stars dropping left and right, you see. Now, this dude, John Madden, Betty White, you know, not Goldie the Mac, all in one so-called week. The Lord is bringing his judgment throughout the earth. That's why the scripture says, seeing all these, um, seeing all these things be destroyed what manner of people are you to be in all holy conversation of godliness and the elder apostle to our deem this is the year all right of turning up so of the how about shimmy i was shy turning up so if you want to be on the right side of that man stay enduring stay prayed up i can you know i just want to elaborate on that it was on my mind through the spirit Call aloud me, how about Shimmy, how about Shabba, Shimmy, Kakadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, and to the hopeful elect, I came out there, Shalom.